Hi, this is Jack Duval. I'm the CEO of Bannum Incorporated, a newly formed registered investment advisory firm. I wanted to take a moment to speak to you about why I started the firm and our backstory and what makes us different. Uh, so just to give a little bit about my background, um, I worked for 10 years in the Merrill Lynch um, High Net Worth Office in Manhattan. It was the original High Net Worth Office at uh, 56th and 5th. And um, after my decade there, I left to start my own uh, consulting firm, and that was a litigation uh, consulting firm that dealt with securities litigations. So I was retained uh, for cases um, in over 350 cases that involved uh, litigation around securities and typically investments that had uh, blown up for one reason or another. Now in those uh, 350 cases that I've worked on, I can honestly say that I have seen virtually every way that investors uh, have their investments or portfolios uh, blown up. And this gives me a very unique perspective um, on investing in general, on risk management, and on due diligence. Uh, you will be hard pressed to find someone who has um, the same kind of perspective that I have I've reviewed thousands, literally thousands of PPMs, and I have seen uh, things that you would not believe um, in different ways that investments uh, can go sideways. Now, I want to talk briefly about four reasons that investments get uh, blown up. And those are uh, very simply complexity, which I have written widely about, and I'll touch on that in other uh, videos later. Um, illiquidity, leverage, and high fees. And each one of these um, is a way that investors uh, can get blown up in their investments. Complexity works in very insidious ways, and I define investment complexity as the uh, potential for an investor's investment to behave differently than they thought it would. So the more complex the investment is, the more the probability of that rises. Um, illiquidity is obviously the lack of liquidity, and investors frequently find that when they have an illiquid investment and they need to get out of it uh, because of some kind of unforeseen event or from poor cash flow planning, the price of liquidity when you have to exit is very, very high, meaning that the price that you can get for your interest is very low. Um, leverage is another destroyer of uh, portfolios frequently and also of individual investments. Uh, obviously, um, it can help on the upside, but on the downside, it can really magnify errors, which is um, what frequently happens. And then the last one is high fees. And high fees are maybe the most pernicious of these four, just for the simple reason that um, they kind of get glossed over. But fees are an absolute killer over time. And just to give a, a quick example, if you can reduce your fees by 1% a year, over 20 years, it's going to make a 20% difference roughly in the terminal value of your investments. If you can reduce that same 1% over 30 years, it will increase your returns by 30% over the same 30 years. So that's a huge difference, and that kind of difference makes um, a real impact on people's lives. So at Bantam, what I've done is I've started a firm uh, that addresses all of those issues. 
Uh, and the way we work with people is many fold. Number one, we can work with investors without them having to move their assets, which is a, uh, a big difference uh, compared to almost any broker dealer, and even any RIA firm that I've seen. Uh, so you can bring us in to uh, do one-off engagements where we do audits of uh, what you have, looking at fees, looking at uh, risk and return, making sure that your investments comport with your uh, investment policy statement. We can do financial plans. Uh, you can give us uh, PPM on an investment that's been recommended to you, and we uh, we can you know get into it, rip it apart, and give you a very concise and readable summary and opinion of what we think about it. Um, and we can also work with investors on an ongoing basis where they don't have to give us uh, custody of their assets. And in those arrangements, we serve as what's known as an outsourced chief investment officer. So uh, those are ways that we can work with clients. We also do manage money. And if we manage money, we manage it in such a way that um, we try to uh, circumvent any potential of those four horsemen of investment portfolios from uh, impacting our investment, our investors' portfolios. So number one, uh, we avoid complexity wherever we can. Uh, and what that generally means is no products. Uh, so we're not going to put any clients in structured products, uh, variable annuities, uh, things like that, where someone else has taken the investments and boxed them up. Uh, usually that's where you get in trouble. Uh, so we avoid all that. We use very uh, low cost uh, ETFs. We also buy individual securities. And so we avoid complexity. We keep the fees low. We do not use leverage. Uh, and the investments that we buy are all um, securities uh, that trade on exchanges and have, in most cases, very, very deep liquidity. We don't buy anything that is illiquid. Uh, so by doing that, we can avoid all what I think are the major ways uh, that in investors experience outsized losses. I'll have more to say on all of these uh, different aspects individually in subsequent videos. Thank you.